Captain Sito Mides in top eight. <laughs> oh, then, he is here, huh? Yeah, he is here, bro. <laughs> was, yeah, so we'll have to wait a little bit longer for that. Yeah, no doubt, but... I mean, the thing is about this, what I really liked about stacked events as a spectator, and I'm watching the stream, right? Every set's going to be great to watch, yep. right? You're just, it's just going to be a banger after banger after banger. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm really looking forward to who we're going to get up next here. Yeah, no, I, I can't wait. That's the thing. And I'll, I'll say it, too. I Not just the density and the talent of these players, but, like, I feel like these players are just hyped to watch. Like, I like oh, yeah. these characters. Taskbot Nexus, super cool. Anathema, Zohar, this is a cool, like... This is a heater. I mean, how much Shulk do you see nowadays? Not not really that much. In Houston? Oh, really? There's, there's really? quite okay. a bit. All right. They're all super active. And Zohar definitely being one of the best ones. Um, he's always been one of those... Uh, players that hovers around the PR level right yeah. under it, right? And we all know his peaks, right? I mean, all of Houston really knows. Mm. But you're going up against Anathema, who's one of the highest seeds in this tournament and the best, one of the best Robs in the world. Mm -hmm. There's so many good Robs in the world. Yeah, I mean, there, <laughs> there are so many. It, it's true. But Anathema, absolutely. I mean, if you know Rob, you know Anathema. I, I would say definitely one of the most more technical Robs. You know, we're talking about a lot of technical character specialists. Anathema fits into that list very well. We already saw him trying to go for the gyro shenanigans. Yeah, um, absolutely. I mean, Rob is one of those characters that, you know, it really rewards technical players like Anathema, right? Mm -hmm. And that's just the strength of Rob as well. You don't have to play like that. Oh. You can just be Zamba. You know yeah. what I mean? You can play like Zamba. There's so many ways to play this type of archetype of character. Absolutely true. Um, that being said, I I love to watch kind of character specialists like this who are able to get so much off hit with these kind of strange, uh, you know, gyro interactions and you know side B early kills. But okay, we have a we have a neutral situation. The Zohar seems to be doing pretty good. Um, I, I'm really interested to see how he's utilizing arts. Kind of what when he tries to use jump, when he tries to use speed. What what are kind of the game plans around this? Right, and you know, you know, Anathema wants to stay as far as possible. Oh! Holy moly! Converting into the footstool like that, the awareness like that, that is was so crazy. cool. Crazy! <laughs> that was very cool. Okay, I mean, that was a quick little speedy uh, punish on that side B. Most characters would not have been able to punish that full stage. So, good on yeah. Zohar. Shulk, Shulk, one of them, right? Yep. But yeah, Anathema taking so much momentum here in this game one. I mean, some fantastic conversions off stage as well, putting him in that position. Yeah. Oh, that's I, it. yeah. oh no. <laughs> oh, come on, man. That's crazy. You saw him try to go for the down air, too. Nathema, disrespectful. Disrespect. <laughs> Another three stock. I like how he's using footstool. I honestly, I mean, it seems like it works well against Shulk specifically, honestly. It, it does, right? I mean, if, if you don't have a lot of resources and, like, if you, you have to save your jump, you have to have your, you know, your speed art and your jump art intact. And if one of those resources is not there, that's that's a big part of his disadvantage is mm -hmm. just gone. And I, I've played Anathema quite a bit in friendlies, and I play Yoshi. He's footstooling Yoshi. No shot. So it's like... He just goes he's for a those. menace. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. I mean, I, it's really cool because, like, I feel like... Footstool has been kind of a recent revolution where, like, it's being used a lot in combos, like footstool down air and stuff like that. Uh, even, like, crazier, like, footstool down gun stuff from Joker. But it's cool to see it just kind of as an edge guarding option. I feel like we don't see that as much, and I, I really like Anathba not being afraid to pull that out. Right, I think footstools are one of those things that's like, oh, wow. Like, everyone knows how to, like, input it right, but implementing it in a game? Yeah. Like, there's not going to be a lot of situations where you're going to be right next to the opponent uh -huh. at that range, right? So implementing it is really hard, and that yeah. just comes with tournament experience and practice. Yeah, no, nice. it's true. Nice. Oh, wow. That's Excellent. true. Following up, or, that, that's crazy how early that kills. Like, there wasn't even, like, kill sparks practically. It's just kind of clean kill. That's ridiculous. Yeah, smash or up air, or up air in general kills faster than uh, F smash. Wow. Yeah. So really good stuff and getting his first uh, lead in this set, but up smash is going to even it right back up from Anathema. Yeah, already looking super, so much better for Zohar, right? But the problem is Anathema had gyro in hand, and mm -hmm. you cannot, you cannot let the man get gyro in hand. Yeah, no, that's true. I, I, I imagine Zohar is probably going to have to do a little bit more rushdown, which like I don't know if Shulk is really used to kind of playing that game. I think he's trying to play more zonery, like just trying to kind of you know use his big disjoint. But I think if you give Anathema that space, you're allowing him to play the game that he's he's that good at, you know? Right. Shulk kind of operating really well in that kind of mid range. That was a really good, yeah. You know, just awareness. Having no jump, there's only one way to recover. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, 
Footstool, but honestly, I feel like Rob doesn't need to use Footstool as much because I feel like Downer kind of does the same job a lot of the times. It's so big, it threatens that that vertical space right beneath the character. I, I, Rob is just one of the best characters in the game at edge guarding. It's just straight up. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he has so many tools for it, so many great, you know, quick boxing options. Mm -hmm. Great he has, projectiles that are active. Yep, he has up B, so he can go out as far as he wants. He doesn't have to worry about coming back, really, like right. as long as he has fuel. He doesn't have to worry about getting reversals, which is a big part of edge guarding, right? Mm -hmm. If your recovery is really good, you're going to be a good edge guarder, more, more than likely. Yeah, very true, very true. Uh, so, like we said, it's definitely a lot better. I, I, interesting, I, I like the choice to go for back throw rather than down throw. Instead of trying to play that mix-up, he's just, you know, opposite. He's like, I know I can edge guard you, and he's able to close off that game, too. Yeah, honestly, Rob's a kind of big, what do you call it, kind of a big change with the Rob players is they opted to not go for down throw anymore just because people started getting so good at mashing, Yeah, right? Just throw them off stage and ledge trap, and I mean, you're Rob. Uh -huh. like, hey, there's no point playing that mix-up like you're saying. Yeah, it's kind of true. I think, yeah, until you get to those really high percents, I mean, even like at two high percents, like up throw, it's like... Some people just have crazy mashes. I've yeah. seen people mash out of like Rob down throw at 180, like how? You have to be, that that's is, black magic, you know what I mean? That is crazy. So, I mean, it probably depends on the level too, right? Like if you're, if you're playing your round one, you're probably good to go for down throw, right? But I mean, <laughs> who knows? Okay, I really like this early string from Zohar. Uh, I love seeing like the, the, what is it, butterfly cancels, like the really technical kind of buster, you know, remove buster, crazy high percent. Nice. And, I, and he's got the gyro too, okay. Yeah, that's something that's really good to practice, right? Because you're gonna, you have to know how to pick up gyro and you have to know how to use it, right? Because mm -hmm. if you're just throwing out robs willy-nilly, they're just gonna shield and they're gonna get it back in 0.4 seconds. Yep, yep. I like that he's going for that falling up air too. We saw how deadly it can be, especially with that jump art. I mean, it, it's crazy how early it kills, especially a big character like Rob. Right there, get off me option. In the corner, he has, he's been there for quite a bit now. Yeah. I see the recovery. I like how he's setting up his up space. Oh, wow. Almost able to convert off to, into the uppy, but barely not able to get, to get it out in time. Yeah, it's kind of like a pseudo fake kill confirm, mm -hmm. the down throw up B. Yeah, I mean, good on Anathema to, to react to that defensively in time, but he's got center stage here. Let's see how he converts off it. Oh, I love the reversal forwarder there. Yeah, that was a really good forwarder. Oh, oh, that's a, a big commitment. <laughs> Not going to be Running punished, though. Running out of fuels here soon. Okay, no more smash art, so he's going to have to rely on something else to take this stock. I mean, it's it's huge. I mean, Zohar definitely wants to get a stock lead again if he wants a chance at this set. Anathema still in the corner right now. Up he's oh. going to get punished, and that's going to be it. <laughs> oh! oh! Excellent use of shield in the middle of the down smash. Another lease on life. What is Zohar going to do with it? And the thing is with that, you had to react to getting hit by the first hit, right? Yeah. And then immediately shield art. And mm -hmm. that could have worked with up smash potentially too. That was just great awareness. That was really good thinking. Exceptional. Really, really done from Zohar. Okay, I'm really scared in these offstage situations. Really good on Zohar to you know, get catch Anathema on the platform there. But I'm so scared every time he goes down for those up Because I feel like an he could definitely get re reversal. I feel like Anathema's looking for it. Yeah, definitely right. We've seen how oh we've seen how good Anathema is like able to like reversal off stage, yeah. edge guard, footstool, we've seen that. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you got to apply some pressure down there. Rob's are too, that's Rob's true. these days are too used to recovering for free, you know what I mean? No, I'll give it up. I think that's fair. You, you got to try something still very even. I like Zohar's getting his hits in, kind of exchanging, you know, uh, stray hits back and forth, not really getting anything huge started for either player. Oh, but yeah, great way to cover space there. Because when Schultz doesn't really have that many options uh, that far off stage. Go. Oh my. Oh, Jesus. I respect that up so much. It was, it was a really cool idea. Honestly, really close to hitting. But I think Anathema is going to take that lead and he's going to try and run with it. Not going to get the up air here. Very tight situation here. Zohar needs to find a way to get this kill on Anathema. Mm -hmm. But the problem is you have to hit Anathema. Uh-huh. That's true. I mean, and we see how, like, threatening Rob's juggle game is, too. Both up tilt and up air just cover so much vertical space. It, it's so, like, these falling aerials that you know Zohar wants to go for. You're, you're just putting so much on the line to try and get it off. Yeah, and to comment on, like, Zohar's willingness to go out there, we saw Anathema stall in the air. Zohar went for a jump art. This might be it. Just okay. kidding. Yeah, gets the shield art. Yeah, Shulk doing a little bit of cheating, but I don't know if it's going to really net him too much. I mean, Rob off stage. 
I wonder, I, I don't know how fast uh, Shulk up B out of shield is, but we haven't really seen that represented too much, honestly. Yeah, I used, to, I used to be high on Shulk up B out of shield, but people fall out of it so much, and it's not very fast. Yeah, yeah. It's really hard. That's yeah. going to be it. Yeah, <laughs> going for the down air. Bro, Shulk was so dead off of that, bro. <laughs> you Super see how quickly dead. he went to the bottom blast zone? <laughs> yeah, I didn't see a kill spark or anything. Man. Well, we're going to secure a third 3-0 of the day, Anathema. Taking care of Zohar. Zohar was keeping it pretty competitive, yeah. right? He was he was applying the pressure on Anathema, but unfortunately, not gonna be enough. Yeah, no, absolutely. We have seen a lot of three O's, which I I don't really know what this says about this tournament. I guess, <laughs> you know, the three sets that we've had, it, it's right because honestly, all three like, I mean, they they've been three O's, but it doesn't feel like washes. Like both are kind of you know presenting some options. They're being responded to, but just kind of every last sit situation, kind of the higher seated player was able to close it out, probably because of that experience. Yeah, right. There's so many factors that go into playing into a bracket. Man, this Edgeguard mm -hmm. is crazy. That was so cool. <laughs> that was ridiculous. I like how it kind of the set started and ended the same way with like the crazy footstool down air stuff. Like, right. <laughs> oh man, Nathma. Really, I I think it's cool. I, again, I'm really excited to see more of him. That was a great kill. I love the jump art up airs. Uh, I killing an 80. I mean, that, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. I really like the Kalos counter picks from Zohar because mm -hmm. Anathema. I mean, you're working with so much space, and uh, Shulk really capitalizes on that, right? Yeah. 